Hello friends, today we will going to discuss about TCP and UDP. So in our last video we have discussed about cables, two tire architecture, three tire architecture. But the important things are protocols. As we know that protocols are the set of rules for communication. Protocols. We know that these are the uh, set of rules for communication like we want to send our data from one interface to another interface or one location to another interface. So we need protocol. So we have so many protocols like in OSI model we have layers, application, presentation, session, transport layer, network, data link and physical layer. But current days, nowadays we are not using OSI. OSI is just reference model. We are using TCP IP model. So according to TCP IP model, these uh, a, uh, application, presentation and session layer converted into application. After that transport, after that internet layer and the last two layers are divided into network access. So the one thing is common in both the models OSI and TCP IP is transport layer remains same. As we know that on application layer, we have so many protocols, HTTP, FTP, DNS, DHCP. But how these protocols are divided? Like so, we have to know about it, how these are divided. So these all protocols are divided into two parts, TCP and UDP. So what is TCP? TCP is transmission control protocol and UDP is user datagram protocol okay now what is the difference between TCP and UDP actually TCP is our connection oriented protocol and UDP is our connection less protocol now we need to uh, verify the difference between connection oriented and connection less okay uh, i will let you explain connection oriented is for example uh, i want to send data to any person and after sending data for example this is my location okay and this is another person location i want to send data to pc a to pc b and in 3cp connection First, it will verify the path, like path is clear or not. After that, it will get acknowledgement from the destination, like we can talk or we can not talk. And after that, I will send the data. So, if we easily understand this, in connection oriented, we will get the acknowledgement from the destination. In TCP, the connection is reliable, like we can... Uh, accept updates easily but TCP connection is slower than UDP because first it will check the path after that it will check the acknowledgement and after that it will send the data like in TCP we have three way handshake process three way handshake process on the another another side I will uh, give you one uh, example again for example I am working in a company and uh, tomorrow I need a leave and I need to get permission from my managing director okay so first of all I just want to say I will not say directly to managing director sir I need to leave first of all I will go to my director sir okay I will go to my director sir and I will say sir uh, I need to talk about something okay and then if my managing director is free then he will say yes, otherwise he will say no. Okay. So if my managing director will say yes, then it means one message sent by me, second message sent by my boss, and third time I will send, sir, I need leave. Okay. I need leave or uh, like I have to go to marriage of my cousin, like something, something. Okay. So this is called three-way handshake. But in UDP, there will be no three-way handshake. Okay, I will just clear it. Again, so it is connection-oriented. It is your connection-less. And TCP use port number 
six and UDP use port number seventeen. UDP is faster than TCP because there is no acknowledgement in this. It will send data if it will reach. It's okay. Otherwise, it is error and it is unreliable. But it is fast. Now, what are the example of TCP? TCP examples are HTTP and FTP and SMTP. HTTP is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. For example, you want to uh, uh, like open your website, okay, like www.facebook.com. So, in with the help of HTTP, it will send the data to server. It will received by port number 80, and after that, it will get reply back, and then it will open. Similarly, in FTP 21 port is used and SMTP 25 port is used. So these are connection oriented protocol. But is the example of UDP, DNS, DHCP, TFTP, it used 53 number port, 67, 68 port, 69 port. DNS is used for IP to name, DHCP is used to resolve, uh, sorry, DHCP is used for providing IP address automatically and TFTP works same as like FTP uh, transfer the data from one interface to another interface it is used in internet connection so TCP and UDP has important role in our networking thank you so much